Alright folks, I'm on a roll tonight. Dead gummy, you lucky rascal. This is Poppin' Joe. Here to read some scripture. To, well, actually it's not scripture. It's from my fair friend, friend. From my friend, Terry Thompson. And she wrote, and I do remember it's a she, because the last time I did this, I wasn't sure. And I was correct. So, she is a she. Uh, her, uh, she's in a group of uh, men called Studying the Word. And she makes some pretty interesting comments. This one is called The Dome of the Mountain. And it's for Thursday, June the 2nd, 2016. So that's today. And remember, I am a hillbilly. I have trouble with some words, okay? On the Temple Mount in Jerusalem sits a mosque. On its walls are written the words, Allah has no son. The central statement in, in Islam is really an anti-statement talking about Messiah. It's actually affirming what it denies because Psalm 2, Psalms 2 says, They rage against the Lord's anointed anointed his son but I have set my king on my holy mountain it's on this mountain that Islam rages against God's son even Islam cannot help but focus on Yusayah Yusayah I can't ever pronounce that but can't help but focus on God it's the same with the Rabbanic the, uh, Judaism Buddhism Hinduism, and even Santism, Santism, Satan worshippers. Those who are against him still end up focusing on him. How much should we, his followers, focus everything on him? Good question, ain't it? Make him the focus of your day today, of your thoughts, your heart, your plans, your every word, your actions, everything you do, because that's the way the existence works. It's all focused on Him anyway. The more you focus on Him, the more blessed your life will be. He's the Lamb. He's the center of the throne. He's the focus of everything. Make Him your focus, and from that will come all blessings. Scripture today is... Psalms 97 9. Today's mission today make a conscious effort to exalt Messiah in everything you do and everywhere you go. Be conscious of his every presence. <coughs> Excuse me. And ain't that the truth? The uh, I don't know about where they said it's up there on the mountain, never been over there, but I trust her word on it. But you know, it is a fact that all these people that don't believe in God, they hate God, we're a bunch of fools for believing in God, and all this, they get so offended by God. Why are you getting offended by something you don't believe in? Why are you getting offended? Because I believe in him. There's a post going around uh, Facebook where uh, the old boy, little boy, he's saying, why are you offended by God that don't exist? Why are you being offended by my God or, you know, that you think don't exist type deal? And there's a whole lot to that. If all these people think that God doesn't exist, then what's there to be offended by? If he's a, a fairy tale, like my buddy, dear Santa, please tell the Easter Bunny to tell the Tooth Fairy to da 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 well, if that's how you really feel, then why you got a problem with me believing in him? Just think I'm a fool and go on down the road. Why get all upset? And, and all this nonsense and uh, raise all this fuss and hula. I don't 
get it. Do you think that might be because in the real center of us, the one that created us planted a seed there that uh, makes us know that he's really there? And despite all of our denial and all that nonsense, that uh, there's something in there that's telling you, yes, he's real, and you're messing up. So, it is what it is. So, one of them deals like that, you know. So, so uh, panhandler walking up or something, but probably want to sell fake gold. But, uh, yeah, if, if he doesn't exist, then uh, why in the world? Oh, uh, he truck there wanting to know if I was moving, and I'm not moving. <laughs> why in the world does it bother you that I believe in God? Why are y'all so angry? If you don't believe in God, then, uh, and like it says, the more they try to deny him, the more their focus winds up going back on him. You know, you're so busy trying to deny him that you're focused on him. What's that say about y'all, folks? Well, I don't get it. I really don't. And I ain't told you that in a little while. One thing I can tell you, God is real. I've seen too much evidence of it. I'm not running around with my eyes closed and, and all that stuff. Uh... And if there's those out there that don't believe in him, I feel sorry for you. One day you're going to find out that he's real. And don't go getting all upset because I do. And don't try to deny me my rights. Uh, there's another thing I read earlier that I'm going to look up, read it to you. Make another post about it. Another video. But like I said, I can tell you God's real whether they want to believe it or not and I'd also tell you that he loves you and so do I he loves you so much that he sent his only son down here for us his son died so that we have a way to the father that's just the cold hard facts of it, whether they like it or not God bless y'all y'all have a great evening now love you good night